there's a kitten. She's so cute. <laughs> Welcome back to This Box is Lit. I'm Delilah, and I have my lovely assistant Fiona here with me today. And together we will be opening the Naturally Vain monthly subscription box. Naturally Vain is um, a subscription box for people who really like bath products. They have two types of subscriptions available. They have the Bath Lovers Club and the Bath Bomb Club. You, if you have the Bath Bomb Club, you get six bath bombs per month. And if you have the Bath Lovers Club, you should be getting uh, six. There are items for, to use in the bath. So there are things that you can use in your shower like body scrubs or um, face products. There, I've gotten um, exfoliators, I've gotten deodorant, I've gotten um, body cream. So all sorts of things, and you should get a, like a bath bomb or something that you can use in the tub in that box as well. So it is $35 a month, and that is in Canadian funds. It does ship from Canada, so that makes it easier for me because I am in Canada. And so let's see what they gave us. This is the January box for 2021, New Year. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better. So our first thing that we have, it looks like it's wrapped up like a bath bomb here. Oh, and Cake has decided to join us. But he doesn't stay in one place for very long. So, oh, there he goes. Bye, Cake. Nice little guest appearance. So this smells kind of fruity. This is the Jolly Winter Bath Bomb. It's with tart, raspberry, and blackberry. And it really smells very, very, very berry. So I'm gonna just unwrap it a little bit. So it's a white bath bomb with some little blue flecks in it. And it smells really good. I just hit my nose with it, so it's gonna be like, stuck in my nose all night now. That's okay, I'll probably go have a bath right after this. So this is Wild Carrot Facial Scrub. And carrot is a pretty good one for the skin because carrot has, a, it's got a little bit of a natural exfoliator with a vitamin A. Um, mixed with the scrub, it would maybe hopefully not be too strong although let's see it doesn't say vitamin a it's uh basically carrot seed extract so it's probably quite minimal and it smells okay i was a little concerned because you never know with carrot and a face scrub but it it smells um quite fresh and it almost smells floral so this has, um, I'm not gonna list every single thing that's in here, but just kind of the highlights. It's got some sweet almond oil and it's got some jojoba oil and it's got some apricot shell powder. It's got um, a few different flower oils, it looks like, the carrot seed extract. So um, yeah, definitely this has some all natural ingredients in it and it's something that I would use on my face. I wish they wouldn't send me scrubs for my face as often though because I do have sensitive skin. I prefer a chemical exfoliator so I can only use scrubs like once a week, but it's still, it's nice to use a scrub once in a while. I'm gonna guess mint. It's a bar of soap, I think. And it smells like mint. Da, 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 I was right. 
fresh start. Like our brand new year, we're having a fresh start. That has peppermint oil, which was what I was smelling. Um, and it's got some olive oil and some castor oil and it's got some rice bran oil. So those are all very, um, those are very calming and they're very um, moisturizing to the skin. It's got some coconut oil. So yeah, the I really like the soaps that are from Naturally Vein. They all smell very nice and they feel nice on the skin. They don't dry my skin out. What's this? What is this? This is, ooh, so this is a face wash. All right, so this is New Day Face Wash with Revitalizing Blood Orange Essential Oil. So this has, I'm checking for, to make sure this doesn't have any sodium lauryl sulfate because that's what we don't wanna put on our skin. And I don't see that at all. So yay, that's exciting to me. Um, so I am a skincare professional and I can tell you, you should never ever ever use any kind of face wash that has sodium lauryl sulfate as an ingredient because um, that's what they put in the cheaper face washes, the ones that you get at like the, um, the drugstore and you know, grocery store and whatever. Those, they add that, it's basically a detergent. And when you use that on your face, it causes pretty bad, um, you get dehydration, it makes your pores become enlarged, it's, it's not good. So I'm glad to see that they did not include that as an ingredient. Um, we have some chamomile, we've got some aloe, we've got cucumber, we've got a little bit of green tea extract, we've got um, some citrus oil, so it smells amazing too. I'm really excited to use that. I'm excited to wash my face. These peanuts are sticking to everything. Oh, okay, okay. So this is Rose Quartz Hydrating Face Mist. All right, so I would not expect that this would replace a toner because it doesn't look like there's anything pH balance. Oh, oh, okay. I stand corrected. It's got this um, ingredient, this alkane, and that balances your skin's pH. So you actually could use this as a toner. Um, it's got some castor oil and it's got some yeah it's pretty basic um so let's just smell it that smells nice yeah it um it doesn't smell i i'm a little weird with the rose scented things because oftentimes it's overpowering um but this is actually quite nice is there more I never know because they don't give me a packing list and um, the number of items that they send me is often different every month. So this time I have one, two, three, four, five. I feel like I should be getting six. No. It's weird because um, I think if the bath bomb club is getting six bath bombs, then I feel like I should be getting six things too in the bath lovers club, but I guess not. But now I've got this big, huge mess to clean up. Yay. So um, we'll just take a quick look again. We have our bath bomb that smells amazing. Our peppermint soap. We've got our rose quartz facial spray our um, New Day face wash, and our carrot scrub. What did you guys think? 
Do you have any questions on how on if any of these things worked or if they were good to use? Like, if you want to know, do these does this stuff work on your skin? Is it all right? Did it break me out? Anything like that? Um, please leave it in the comments below so I can let you know. Since I can't really review everything, I mean here because uh, I'm opening it, but. Yeah, if you uh, have uh, any questions, if you want to know, was this a super drying exfoliator, then let me know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.